What's going on guys, my name is Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. For those of you who don't know, I make daily zombies videos and if you enjoy watching zombies videos then be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Someone by the name of Durham Chief UK suggested an assault rifle from Modern Warfare 2 the FR of Answer. Durham Chief UK said that it shreds in the tier 3 zone with just a purple tool, so of course we had to give it a go. Before I get into the build I'm using for the FR of Answer, I just quickly want to take a moment to thank U4GM for sponsoring this video. U4GM is a safe, trusted, and reliable Call of Duty service provider and they'll help you unlock all the rare schematics and zombies, all the camos, and they offer a lot of other services. If you guys are interested in this, then click the link in the description below and be sure to use my code HIP for an extra 5% off. So the build I'm using for the FR Avancer is as follows. We're using the RMT rear grip for increased sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the recon stock pad for increased ADS speed and sprint speed, the SL Razorhawk laser sight for a huge boost to our sprint to fire speed and ADS speed, the 395mm FR mini bore barrel for increased ADS speed as well. And last but not least, we're using the 60 round mag. Thank you again to Durham Chief UK for the suggestion. If you guys have any other suggestions for weapons you'd like to see me check out, then be sure to drop a comment below. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the FR Vancer, it's time to make our way into the tier 3 zone and the dark ether to see how this thing performs, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see, and our gun's at pack 2 with just an epic tool, and uh, we are doing some work man, ooh, we got that mega abomination on us too, hold on, let's get the reload, reload speed's a bit slow, and then again, we do not have speed kill yet, there we go, oh man, just look at the damage output on this thing, this thing's crazy good. Just imagine with a legendary tool, I actually had a legendary tool in my tombstone and completely forgot, so yeah, ended up taking in an epic tool, but yeah, it's all good, I'll save up that legendary. Let's keep lighting this guy up, take out some of the normal zombies. Alright, we'll have to get some distance here. Yeah, this thing feels good, man, super mobile too. Alright, we can actually use a thermite for this, there we go. Let's take these guys out. Hopefully we get a large bag off the Mega, so I can keep that in my tombstone as well. Oh, Mega despawned. All good, all good. <laughs> Man, this thing is nice. I can't wait to do this bounty contract. We will go get pack 3 before we continue with the bounty, but, you know, definitely wanted to see how it performs at pack 2. Let's see what target this gives us. And we got a Mega. Let's go. Alright, where's the pack punch machine? Right there. Nice. All right. I'll see you guys once I'm at pack three and then we can take out that mega. I mean, yeah, just look, you really don't even need pack three. This thing is just insane. And there we go. Got it to pack three. Let's see how it performs. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> That's not even fair. Just look at how quickly we're ripping through tier three zombies. <laughs> oh my God. With a legendary tool, this thing would be like an insta kill, man. Alright, so the Mega Abomination is right down here. Let's see if we can get his attention. There he is. Nice. Alright, let's get a bit closer. Alright, Mega, hit us with that laser attack, buddy. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Alright, he's going to charge at us. Nice. I think if we get up here, that's going to be enough to trigger it. Hopefully. Let's hit those criticals. Oh, yeah, dude. Did a lot of damage right there. Alright. Alright. Beautiful. Pretty sure we just destroyed one of his faces. Another laser attack's coming in. Oh, we'll actually have to come over here. Oh, let's finish the reload. Come on. There we go. Take out some of these zombies. Beautiful. All right, Mega. I'm ready. Let's hit those shots. Oh my god, dude. Took off about a quarter of his health bar already. Two faces destroyed. Nice. Let's keep hitting those shots. Got about a quarter of his health bar left. I'll just throw the thermite. Why not? Speed things up a bit. But yeah, this thing is insane. Definitely a great choice. I'll take that extra three plate. Thank you. And there's another three plate in there. And we got a sigil. So I guess we can go to the dark ether. Nice. And an extra self revive. Always good to have. 
All right, let's see if there's another bounty contract, and there is. All right, I'll see you guys once I get there. Hopefully, we get a different target just so we can test it out on maybe a disciple. But I think I think we'll be fine with this gun, honestly. And there we go, got the contract. Let's see what target we get, and it's another mega. Okay, I won't complain. Let's see what's in our jug. We already have. All right. We actually got the Wonder Fizz back there too, but the Mega's right in front of it, so we can't really go hit that. That's unfortunate. Would have been good to have Speed Killer or something. Definitely would have helped out. Quickly chuck a decoy. There we go. Let's focus in on the Mega. Get that middle face. Beautiful. Let's take some of these guys out. Nice, nice, nice. Come over to this side. Yeah, we definitely need to get speed color. Reload speed might end up being an issue. Let's take all those zombies out. Beautiful. I think there's a disciple nearby too. Looked like it at least. There we go. Mega's over here now. Let's see if we can climb onto this. Ooh. Still taking damage from the zombies. Okay. There we go. Throw thermite. Nice, nice. <laughs> Oh man, this gun is a lot of fun to use. You're super mobile with it too. That's what I like about this thing. Let's get that reload. Nice, nice, nice. All right, actually, since he kicked us down, we can quickly hit this and there we go. Got speed killer. Definitely gonna help out now. All right, Mega. Turn around. Come on. Come on. Is he not gonna turn around? Okay, there we go. Let's get the reload. Yeah, reload speed's a lot better now that we have that shot. A lot better. Beautiful. Let's take that retchling out too. Get a bit closer to the mega. Pretty sure from up here we might be able to trigger laser attacks if we climb this part. Hopefully. Let's see if it works. No. Come on, mega. Give us that laser attack, man. No. You're not gonna do it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's a bad spot. Let's hit those criticals. Nice. There we go. Laser attacks coming in. Got to reload though. It's unfortunate. Missed out on a bit of damage. There we go. Nice. He's so close to dying now, man. You don't even really have to hit the criticals. Even if you're not hitting critical damage, you're still eating into his health bar. Just look at that. So close. All right. And there we go. Got the kill. Quick and easy. No large bag on the ground. No medium bag. Hell no. Alright, let's see if there's another bounty contract. And there's none. Okay, I'll quickly go hit the Wonder Fizz, perk up a bit more, and I'll get back to you guys once we get another contract. Ooh, we got a little disciple right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Look at how. <laughs> oh man, this gun was a great suggestion. I'm having too much fun. This has to be the best AR in the game, right? I mean, the M4, the M16, the Chimera, all all pretty solid weapons, but this thing, man, oh my god. I mean, yeah, just look at that. <laughs> HVTs, no problem. Groups of zombies, no problem. Just a 10 on 10 gun right here. Hell yeah. Uh, cargo delivery just spawned in, but I would have preferred a bounty contract. I think there's a me yeah, there's a mega further back. We'll actually go kill that guy in a second here. Just have some more fun with these guys. Let's get the reload. All right, disciple. There we go. <laughs> That's not even fair. All right, mega. Come over here, dog. Let's see, there we go. Laser attack already. Nice. That's what I like to see. Beautiful. Destroyed one of his faces already. I'll have to take out some of these normal zombies. Ugh. Let's get some distance before that mega charges. Nice. Bring him back to spawn area. Perfect. All right. Let's keep hitting those criticals whenever we can. Took off about a quarter of his health bar. Dude, this thing's just insane. All right, maybe if we get on top of one of these things there we go that should work nice there we go two faces destroyed nice let's keep hitting those shots 
Come on, Mega. Hit us with another laser. Come on. Let's get on this one again, maybe. I think he's a bit too... Yeah, there we go. Now it's gonna work. Aw, oh, man. He's so close. We'll have to reload, though. And there we go. Got the kill. <laughs> Quick and easy. Another three plate. No large packs for us. Dang. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Let's take that essence, though. Brick, tombstone. We already have... Um, okay, any bounty contracts? Yup, there's one back there, but it looks like someone's going for it. Um, yeah, let's see if we can make it over there in time. Nice, looks like we got it. Let's see what target this gives us now, and it's another mega. Okay, three megas in a row. I won't say no. Alright, megas right here. There we go, laser attacks already coming in. Let's hit those criticals, nice. Already destroyed one of the Mega's faces. Let's take out some of these normal zombies while we're at it. Perfect. And I'm pretty sure we can jump onto this part to trigger lasers. There we go. That's what I like to see. Nice. Let's keep hitting those criticals. We'll have to get the reload here. Ugh. Couldn't destroy the face, unfortunately. All good, though. Another laser attack is coming in. We'll have to jump down. Just to make sure we don't go down. <laughs> Let's throw a thermite. There we go. Take some of these zombies out. Nice. And now we can get back on this rooftop here. Perfect. There we go. Now we can just start frying this mega. Halfway dead. It's got about a quarter of his health bar left. Yeah, this thing's just insane, man. The damage output is crazy. Like, I'm positive that there's no AR that does as much damage as this thing. This has to be the best. Look at that. Another laser attack, and we're gonna get the kill here with this one. It's looking like... And there we go, got the kill. Awesome. Let's see what we get off this. A large bag. Perfect. Um, I'll go ahead and drop a normal self-res, I think. Uh... Or the epic tool? What's more important, an epic tool or a self-res? Um, epic tools, I have like two extras, so yeah. Let's let's take the self-res, you know. Better safe than sorry. I'll quickly hit a buy station and grab a few Casimirs, and maybe we'll do one more bounty contract if one spawns in. If it doesn't, then we'll just go to the Elder Dark Ether, or the normal Dark Ether, rather. We need to get them Elder Sigils. <laughs> Nice, so we got our Casimirs, and normally I would drop one and steal one, but we don't have space. Oh yeah, when we use our Sigil and accept the teleport, I'm pretty sure the Sigil disappears, so we could then drop the Casimir. Get three Casimirs once we teleport. There we go, we made it to the portal. Let's use the Sigil if it gives us the... If it gives us the prompt. Um... There we go. Now it works. <laughs> nice. Except the teleport. And yeah, it disappears. Okay, so we drop that, stow it, and there we go. We'll have three Casimirs once we're in the tier 5 zone. There we go. We made it to the tier 5 zone, or tier 4 zone, rather. So once you spawn in, just turn around, make your way into this warehouse. And this is where you find the first contract. That's going to be the bounty contract. So there we go, right here in the corner. Let's pick that up. We got a Mimic as our target, and that's going to be right there. Nice. Okay, I'll see you guys once I get over to the Mimic. Oh, yeah, this thing's doing some work, even in the Dark Ether. Yeah, I'm loving it, man. Solid 10 on 10 for this gun. I mean, just look at that. <laughs> it's been a while since we used a gun that was this powerful. Alright, so to get over to the Mimic, we could actually climb this ladder here, and this is actually where you find the Outlast contract. I'll actually show you guys that real quick. Once you get up the ladder, the Outlast contract is right here. There we go. But, for now, we'll just use this little platform to parachute over to this playground area. There we go. Alright, Mimic, where you at, bro? Um... There he is. Nice. Start hitting those shots. Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, just look at how much <laughs> damage we did with just those few shots. <laughs> this thing's crazy. Let's take out some of these zombies. That's going to be an issue. It's looking like... Oh, there we go. It's, yeah, that's definitely going to be an issue. There are a bunch of zombies here, man. 
Um, we'll actually have to kill quite a few of them before we can start doing much damage to the Mimic. Let's play it up real quick. Try to lure them all over to this area here. There we go. Pretty sure we did some damage to the Mimic there. I'm trying to hit the Mimic while shooting into the groups of zombies. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Mimic's about halfway dead. Ooh, got a nuke. That's going to get rid of all the normal zombies. There we go. Let's focus on the Mimic. And nice. Got the kill. Let's see what reward we get. We got a VR-11. Um, I have way too many VR-11s, though. Um, and the epic tool and stuff. Yeah, won't be picking any of that up. That's unfortunate. All good, all good. So the next contract we'll be doing is the Outlast contract, and that's right over there on the rooftop that I was showing you guys. So just make your way up the ladder, pick up the contract, and I'll see you guys once I got it. There we go, we got the contract. Now that's gonna ping the P&D device, and that's gonna be over at the diner. So just parachute over to this area here, right into the fog. And from here, you can just run up this hill climb up these two walls here and there we go we made it to the pnd device so then just get this activated and all you do for this contract is stay in this room there's no real strategy for it um depending on the weapon you have you could just train zombies and fight them off generally speaking though i would recommend running around in circles the entire time or just running back and forth like so um, keep in mind, there's nothing wrong with stepping out, because if you pay attention to the analysis progress, it goes down super slow, but when you're in the area, it goes up super fast. So if you have to dip from time to time, then come back in, there's nothing wrong with that. You'll still progress with this uh, contract. But yeah, we got this FR Advancer, so we are just frying all the zombies instead of running in circles. This thing is crazy, man. We just took out two disciples like nothing. Oh man, I'm loving this gun. Solid 10 on 10 for me. Especially when you have Deadshot Daiquiri, you just spam that aim button. And uh, yeah, I mean, you guys see the result. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, there's almost no zombies left in the area. We're literally just annihilating all of them. And there we go, contract complete. Let's see what we got. Brain Rod, I'll throw that on, why not? And another VR-11, dude. Um, I guess I'll I guess I'll stow it for now, but we have way too many of those. What I really need is an Elder Dark Ether Sigil. <laughs> so once you complete that contract, you want to make your way over to the mall. That's this huge building right here. And the contract's actually located right there, right at the top. So you could go inside the mall and take the stairs to go up. My preferred route is just to run back here over to the parking garage. And from this building, you can just walk over and you're already on the roof. And of course, you get to avoid all the gas inside the mall, which, uh, yeah, super annoying. There we go. Just climb here, take this ladder, make your way to the center and climb up this ramp. And once you get to the top, you can take a left. And there we go. We're at the mall now. Just do a bit of parkour here. There we go. Beautiful. And from here, you literally just climb onto this part, run straight, and you're already on the roof. So once you pick that up, the uh, three extractors are going to be directly west. So just keep running west, run along this metal bar. And as you can see, they just landed back there. So we do have the three Casimirs. That's what we need them for. Once you get to the end of this ledge, just parachute over to this part here. From here, you can parachute over to the building. And once you're up on the building, you can just throw a Casimir down by the extractor. There we go. And that's going to let you disable the extractor. Nice. Super easy. Then just go ahead and equip your extra Casimir so you have two equipped again. Run towards the second extractor and throw a Casimir at the wall. There we go. Once again, it's going to let us disable the extractor. Ooh, bonus points, I'll take that. Thank you, thank you. And just run back towards the final extractor. There we go. A lot of zombies over here, man. And there we go, throw your Casimir. Once again, you can just disable the extractor. Super easy. There we go. That's three out of three disabled and contract complete. Now there's gonna be a bunch of zombies still alive. 
Um, this is where I'd recommend having Ether Shroud. As you can see, like, it's going to be impossible to check our rewards with all these zombies. So just pop Ether Shroud like so, and you can just calmly check your rewards. Elder Sigil, let's go. Flawless Crystal. I'll drop the three plate, man. Screw that. I'm definitely taking that flawless. Let's go. Some juicy loot today. Um, I'm actually not sure if there was anything else in there. I'm pretty sure we're good, though. Um, the Flawless Crystal and the Elder Sigil were the two main items I was looking for. So let's go. Definitely happy about that. Um, the next video I record, I guess, will be going to the Elder Dark Ether, so I can continue looking for schematics to give away to you guys. If you guys don't know about that, I do give away schematics almost on a daily basis via Twitter, so just go follow me on Twitter, that's at HypnosticYT. I send out random tweets whenever I finish a game, and uh, I'll mention the schematics I have on hand. You guys reply to that, and then I select a random winner. Um, I've actually had a lot of people wondering how I have schematics in my bag even after I load in again. So basically, if you exfil, all the schematics are going to disappear. But I never exfil. I always down myself at the end of my runs. So like right now, I'll drop the equipped self revive. Then I'd let all these zombies kill me, bleed out, wait for the timer to run out. And uh, then when I back out, my tombstone's gonna be at the cemetery. I think that's like I3 on the main map. And all this stuff is gonna be in there. So, yeah, that's just my strategy. Of course, that does mess with your contamination level or whatever that's called. So, yeah, it's up to you. I do prefer playing this way though, because I'll always have essence, I'll always have good items on hand, and I don't have to rely on that small acquisition stash. And of course, no glitches, right? I do not condone any glitches. So yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you again for the suggestion. Like I said, this thing gets a solid 10 on 10, man. It is definitely the best AR I've used in a very long time. And I'd go as far as saying that this is the best AR in zombies at the moment. I mean, we were at pack two with a epic tool and we were shredding in the tier three zone. So I think the way this thing performed speaks for itself. Thank you again for the suggestion. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to show your support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.